hello guys in this video we will discuss about smart sensors we have already been talking about sensors and transducers then using this sensor and transducer we develop the system called as instruments then comes to talk about intelligent instruments and then we have started talking about intelligent sensor as you know sensor senses the physical parameter and transducer convert that physical parameter into a electrical quantity so this lecture will be focused on the smart sensors and we will discuss when a sensor can be called as smart sensor we have different types of sensors that is integrated sensor smart sensor and intelligent sensor this classification is based on the features the sensors has in build more than a general feature of sensing only a uh, integrated sensor you can say the sensor that is built on a chip or an integrated ic with some functionalities of signal processing such as amplification filtering and data acquisition as we can see the application of many types of solid state sensor has stimulated the market but led to the demand for either low cost unit and enhanced functionality this drives the development of smart sensors with additional functions customer will buy a sensor with additional features and he will buy it at a higher cost also for example thermocouple joint gives us a temperature but if thermocouple gives a garbage value or does not give any value we are not able to find whether the sensor is worn out or not so if a sensor is able to discard the value or alert a message for a repair or a maintenance the system could be saved due to the temperature differences less cost less cost with more functionalities may be achieved through a higher level of device integration that is integrated circuits system on chip large scale integration which is necessary in these sensors so we can see traditional transducer with miniaturization as a single device and with processing capabilities can be termed as smart sensor processing capabilities refers to as signal processing by means of integrated circuit chip which can bring the output into a standard range transducers have specified by their sensitivity linearity input output range and hysteresis etc so additional provisions such as communication and fault prediction can also be features of the smart sensor for example wireless sensor node for a water pollution monitoring can help to get us data from where a human cannot put and install the sensors they takes the input from physical environment and uses built in compute resources to perform predefined functions upon detection of a specified input and then process data before passing it on smart sensors enable more accurate and automated collection of environmental data with less erroneous noise among the accurately recorded information these devices are used for monitoring and control mechanism in wide range of environment including smart grids battlefield exploration and great number of science application smart sensor is also crucial and integrated element in internet of things so why to use smart sensors Smart sensors provide features required in order to further expand application of sensing technologies in a cost effective manner. It can produce electronic data sheet. It can perform self identification, self calibration and compensation. It can be directly made into a digital sensor which can gives a digital data and that sensor can communicate for remote monitoring and remote configuration also. so let us see a general structure of a smart sensor
here is the sensor which takes non electrical quantities as an input and this sensor output can be very small signal so we will give it to signal conditioning element and then it is given to analog to digital conversion so this is one part so this whole blocks can be integrated on a single chip and we can call it as an integrated sensor and the processing unit can be divided further into a pre-processing unit pre-processor unit and the second unit which is performing the main processing that we can call as main processing unit which comprised of local user interface and application algorithms which can have data storage and the last one is communication communication block so this is a generalized structure of a smart sensor